the people of the land bring anywhere food or clothing to sell, what should happen? That we would not bite of them on the Sabbath. That we would not bite of them on the Sabbath. So one of the laws of the Sabbath is that we're not supposed to buy or sell or on the holy day. So any holy day at all, we're not supposed to buy or sell. But brother, were you aware of that? So are you selling right now? What's that? Survivor. Survivor. He said that our people find excuses for everything, you know, brother. God give us six days. What's the Bible saying? We are stiff-necked people, you know. Let me get, all right, because, all right, that, all right, we just, we just, we just brought out one law that you may not, may or may not have been aware of that you broke. No, let's see. Let's see another law. Leviticus 21 and verse 5. Here's another law that we're going to bring out about. It's not to bash you or anything. It's not to bash you or anything. It's to educate you. Because our people are lost. We're lost. We're lost. We are lost. We are destroyed. This man did a wonderful job. Which one? Destro the white one? No. This man, him see him one. Right. He did a wonderful job in destroying us. We don't know who we are. We're walking around calling ourselves Egyptians, Jamaicans, Ethiopians, Africans, you name it. If you if you ask a child what what Jesus look like, we'll find out this. just put the two of them together. Map, map, Precisely. Right, but let us I'm bringing out some of the laws that we are supposed to observe as Israelites. Leviticus 21 and verse 5. The book of Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their heads, neither shall they shave off the I corner like of their beard, nor make any what cuttings in their flesh. Three words. Brother, we know what we're doing. It's a job situation. Yeah, we understand that a lot of our, our brothers are in a certain job situation. But guess what? You have to, it's just for you to make it's for you to make reparations with God, right? right? Because you have to work out your own salvation. Right. Because you say you're aware that you're not supposed. But as I said, we are in captivity. There are certain things that we are required to do that we are not able to do because of the captivity state, the captive state that we are in. Right? Numbers 15 and verse 38. Here's another law. A lot of our people don't know these. Because guess what, my brother? We're not being taught this in the church. Right. They must tell them, say, nature. Come as you are and stay as you are. Right. Clap and sing hallelujah. Halalala bam. That's all they teach in the church. Right. We're not that. teaching, we're not being taught God's laws. Right. And it's because of because of us breaking God's laws why we're in the condition that we're in. Right. Now here's another law, my brother. You Read. The book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel. Say here, our brother. Speak unto the children of Israel and do what? and bid them and command them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garment so question to you my brother you know what our fringes oh, our yeah. tassels yeah, yeah, yeah. what the bible says we must do speak unto the children of israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garment so we're commanded to have fringes on the borders of our garment read on Throughout their generations, it says throughout our generation. So once we're having children, generation after generation, our people supposed to have these on our clothing. That was one of the other laws that destroyed us when we came here as captives. Read on. But there's a purpose for the fringes. Read. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. So they're supposed to put a border, a ribbon, a, a border. Read it again. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. So as you can see, all the brothers here, a ribbon of blue are upon the fringes. And it's going to further explain what the purpose of the fringes are. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. So they are there as a reminder of the commandments and for us to do them. Right. Because Christ wore fringes. You remember, this, you remember this when the lady held on to the hem of his garment? That's what she held on to. And she got cured of her disease. Right? Christ wear fringes. All Christians not wearing it today. They said they're following Christ. All people just do lip service. We do nothing, this Bible says. Nothing. 
this Bible says. That's why we never go to church. That's one of the reasons why a lot of us came Sit, out of the church. Sitting in the the but, after and where's my go? If you're if you're sitting beside a person like Yaga Church and that is something like that in the Bible, you can't remember. You come like you you do the same thing with the person. Like, so in other words, every people sitting beside one another, they are all in sin. Yeah. And you go there, you know the rest, you're gonna and join. There you go. You understand me? So you bring get that. Because pretty much the churches are filled with hypocrites. Yeah. Hypocrites, the plain first, and simple. The first thing the church go wrong, they have this big cross in our church. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's 5 and 11. The book, no, no, of if we see the book of Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 11, and have no fellowship with them, the unfruitful works of darkness. No, 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 that's no. going to people with it. That's going to people being in sin. You see them in sin and yet still you are associated with them and you are even joining them and doing the same thing. But rather, we prove them. So instead of correcting our people, we sit down there and we, and we, 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 we wake up. What's the word I want? We encourage it. Right? right? Or we side with them. The yes. Bible says we're supposed to reprove them. Yes. Right. That's what we are here to do. Right. Reprove our people. Right. Our people are in sin. Right. Isaiah 58 and 1. Yes. Let's see what the Bible says we are commanded to do. Right. We are supposed to show our yeah, people yeah, what yeah, sin yeah, they yeah, are in. Because our people have been dumbed down by Christianity for far too long. It's time to wake up. Right. Get out of these churches. Right. Yeah, Read. The book of Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 1. Cry aloud, right now. spare Come not, lift up thy to my people their transgressions, and the house of Jacob their sins. So we are supposed to show our people, God's people, God's chosen people, right. you so-called black Jamaicans, who are from the tribe of Benjamin. Right. We are here to show you your sins. We are commanded to do this. That's not being done in the church. Because as you just mentioned, we see sin in the church and nobody reproves anybody. Right. We sit down and we encourage it. Right. But we're here to cry aloud and show all people their transgression. Now let's go into some of the other um, commandments that we are required to do as Israelites. We just touched on... Um, did we go into Leviticus 21 and 5? Yeah. So the men are not, men supposed to have a beard. It's a badge of manly dignity. Christ had a beard. We're supposed to have on fringes on our garments. Christ had fringes on his garments. That's a commandment for us Israelites. Everybody who are Israel is supposed to be following these commandments. One question. The powerful name we have. A which name? The powerful name of what? Um, yes, sir, there's a name when up in name in nation. There's a name that him take away from his children. The reason why he take that name is because the the children of Israel, them them, them sin then, them do what they, they, they're not supposed to do. So I'm take away his name Alpha, the, 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 the children of Israel. That's, that's, which, that happened to us in slavery. Which is, which is Yahweh. So hold on, which name are you talking about? Name of us or the name of Christ? Which one are you talking Remember about? Remember, he said, my children that humble themselves and pray. Mm. It's, 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 it's like, you have Yahweh, you have Yahshua. So for instance, Yahshua are the son of Yahweh. So each, all the Israel people should have a piece of Yahweh name. Like Yadin. That's, that's, not, that's not what he's talking about. We're supposed, to, we're supposed to surname ourselves Israel. Give me that scripture. Um, Isaiah. Give me Isaiah 65 and verse 15 first. Let me see if that's the one I want. Leave our name for our curse. Yeah, man. Because what happened to us during slavery is that we lost all our, we lost our identity, we lost our language, we lost the knowledge of our true God. Everything was taken from us, was stripped from us. Read. The book of Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 15. 15. And he shall leave your name for a curse. He shall leave our name. Our name is Israel. He shall leave it for a curse. Read. Ben Israel. And he shall leave your name for a curse ben Israel. unto my chosen. For the Lord has shown you. And call the servants by another name. So it's going to call our servants by another name. The other names are these. Right. Instead of being called Judah, we're called American blacks. Right. Benjamin, West Indian blacks. Levi, Haitians. We were, these names that were given to us were replaced by those names. Right. That's how we became Gentiles. Right. 
because we are given these names by our oppressors. Right. We left our name for a curse. We should be called Israel. We are no longer being called Israel. Black Americans are called African Americans. We are called West Indian Blacks or Afro Blacks or Afro Caribbean. All manner of names. Huh. So, a, a, a West Indian in call we? West, one, that, is one of our, that is one of our so called names. West Indian. West is a direction, Indian means slave. Right. We're what? Western slaves? That's pretty much what we're calling ourselves. We're proud to say we are West Indian. Right. right. And the book said we leave, the Bible says we have left our true identity for a curse. Because let me ask you, what is your surname? Then say name summons, one of summons. Name what? Then say me last name of summons, but me no one of summons. There you go. Where did that name come from? White boy, the man. Exactly. They came from the planters, from the so-called white man who took our people here in captives. Because when we work on a particular plantation, we had the surname of that um, slave owner. So they know, they know, they can't so them can me. identify who you belong to. Right. Exactly. Right. We were branded right. as a symbol to show ownership that we were owned by these people. Right. So we left our name for a curse. The name we have today is a curse. And a lot of us proudly walk around. Oh, I am Alan. I am Erskine. I am MacPherson. So what is your name? I am Vaz. Alan. So-called Alan. If I were to do, we call it genealogy test. Who do you think it will go back to? A white man. Right. My brother. Get me Luke, Luke 12. I'll hand it back over to you, officer. I'm, that's why I ask you. That's why I ask you a question. Get me Luke 12, 47. So you see, you seem to be um, knowledgeable about what we've been bringing out, about who you are, and that you're supposed to keep the commandments, right? All right. But read that scripture for me. Luke 12, 47. Read that. The book. I said Luke chapter 12 and verse 47. And that servant which used Lord's will and prepared not. Because you know the Lord's will. The Lord's will is that we should wake up as a people, coming back to our true heritage, denounce Christianity, right. denounce all these religions that you see around. Right. You mentioned about the cross, you don't serve the white God. So you know the Father's will. You understand? Read on. Which you, the Lord's will, and prepared not himself. Neither did according to his will. So it says the servant, there's a type of servant who knows the Lord's will, but appear not himself. You understand? To do what? Prepare, read, read that part again. And prepared not himself, neither did according to his father's will. So ne prepared not himself, neither did according to his father's will. Read. Shall be beaten with many stripes. You won't get beaten with many stripes, brother? You know the will, you know. But let's find out and prove what the will is. Go, go, go to um, the will. What, what's the will is? So it says there's a type of servant who knows the Father's will, knows who he, who he is, knows what he needs to do, but he's not doing it. He's not preparing himself. What do you need to prepare for? The second coming of Christ. You understand? You need to prepare for the kingdom. You need to prepare yourself and prepare your people. Right. You understand? Yeah. So now let's find what the will is. Read. The book of Psalms chapter 40 and verse 8. I delight to do thy will. David said, I delight. So when David found out the will of God, David was delighted. He was happy. He moved. He says that I made haste and delayed not to keep the Father's commandments. You understand? We don't. I delight to do thy will, oh my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. The will of God is when you, you, you store up the laws of God in your mind. Right. And you don't have, only have them in your mind. You have to, that, you have, to have that awareness in your mind and you, 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 you uh, apply it to your life. Right. You understand, brother? Right. The fringes on your garment, stop buying on the Sabbath. Right. You understand? Grow in your beard, understand your work. But these are commandments that you have to conform. And re that's what repentance is. Right. You're changing your life. That, what brings about that transformation are the laws of God. So the officer is bringing out about the Sabbath. You're growing your beard, putting fringes on your garments. And it doesn't stop there. You see, when you work on, your, you, you work on yourself, guess the job that you have, to, you, you have to do next. Get me Ezekiel 3 verse 17. This is the job that, no, once you have done that, this is now the job that is required for you. In fact, get me Psalms 50 about um, purge me with his sub. Let me show you something about David. 
because this Bible is given by inspiration and is, is a book of reproof and corrections. You understand? Psalms 50. Um, you say, wash me with this up. I think we have a uh, mission from there. Next. Psalms 51, sorry. That's Psalms 51, right here. Some link, we don't know. Can't read it. Seven, read it. Listen, listen, listen. What, what's your name, bro? Psalm Pastor. Pastor. All right, read it. The book of Psalms, chapter 51 and verse 7. Purge me with hyssop. So David said, purge me with hyssop, right? And I shall be clean. Read. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. This is this is this after the, 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 the sin that David committed after sleeping with Uriah's wife. You understand? And kill committed a uh, murder and adultery. So David said within himself, and repent him, look within himself and he said, purge me with hyssop. Read on. Verse 8. Make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken, my broken may rejoice. Verse 9. Hide thy face from my sins. So this says, hide thy face from my sins because before we know our coming this truth, brother, we were walking in sin. You understand? Read on. And black out all my iniquities. Read on. Verse 10. Create in me a clean heart. You think my mind clean, brother? Because if our mind is clean, we wouldn't sleep with us with a woman, get her pregnant, leave her, don't take care of the, the child. If we mind it clean, we wouldn't kill off each other. Right. You understand? If we mind it clean towards God, we wouldn't break his Sabbath. Right. You understand? Celebrate pagan customs. Right. So when our mind is not clean. Right. Our mind needs washing. You understand, Rip? Oh God! And renew a right spirit within me. What will what will renew that spirit is applying the laws of God. You understand, reader? Verse 11. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Verse 12. Restore unto me. Verse 13. Verse 13. Then I will think. Then, Sir David said, then, after I have done that, after I have worked on myself, then, after which, read? I will teach transgression. I will what? I will teach transgressors. So, Pastor, you see, once you learn this Bible and you apply it, that's the second step, learning and applying. Right. After you apply it, then you do what? I will teach transgressors. So, you see what we're doing here? We come out, Christ said, go in the highways and byways and compel them to come in. Right. You understand? So, we clean up ourselves. Right. We're not going to tell you to grow a beard and we don't have one. Right. We're not going to tell you to put fringes on your garments and we don't have one. Right. Right. We're not going to tell you to keep the Sabbath day and we're not doing it. That's right. hypocrisy. That's you understand? So, when you clean up yourself, brother, it says then, after which, you teach transgressors. What is, transgress what is transgression? Breaking up law the laws of God. That's Sin is transgression. So we have to see our we see our people in sin and we have to teach them, build them up. You understand? Because our people is a nation laden with iniquity. We are at the bottom and it's just temporary. If we work on ourselves as a people right now and seal up the number that is prophesied, we get we will be heriting a kingdom above all nations. So you see, you know the reason why the kingdom cannot come is when and I'm not attacking you, brother, is when we have the mind that, 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 that you have and that's why we have to correct you. We know what we need to do and we fail to do it. So that's what we need to do and apply it. You understand? That's where change and transformation will come about. One, um, in each of us, in our families and then in our nation. You understand? So, officer, continue. Okay, so the, the officer just brought out about us um, first Looking at ourselves and making the change. Right? Now give me Acts 3 and 19. Because that's part of repentance. Right? Acts 3 and 19. So I'm like, let, I can ask you a question. What is, you know what is repentance? When you repent for your sin, you stop the way you're doing. Stop what you're doing. But let's see what. The book of Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted. So you're going to repent, it means you convert, as you said. They stop doing the sin, but it's a process. So we just brought it about the whole shaving, and as we, as we, as we said, it's a work situation. We brought that about the fringes. It's gonna take a process of time for you to actually start applying these laws. Right. But you're not supposed to just hear them and say, "Okay, yes, I know I'm supposed to do them." You need to start doing things. You need to start put plans into action right. to actually change and start keeping the commandments. Right. Because when we first heard and understood that we were Israelites. It took us a process of time for us to actually start applying each of the laws. And one of the laws that we are required to do 
As Israelites, is that we congregate on the Sabbath. Leviticus 23 and verse 3. Let me show you another law of the Sabbath. All right, let me just bring this out. Because this is one of the, this, what, this, this is how you keep the Sabbath holy as well. Because there's a lot of misunderstanding how we keep the Sabbath holy. Leviticus 23 and verse, what, 3? Yeah. The book of Leviticus chapter 23 and verse 3. Six days shall long work, shall work be done. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest and holy convocation. A holy convocation means we come together as a body and we con and we congregate. Right. That's the law of the Sabbath. So some people say, oh, you just go down and you stay home and you just lie down and sleep. No. We are required to congregate. But guess what? Until our people learn and understand the laws that they're supposed to be doing, we have to come out here and teach them. We have to let them know what they need to do to gain the kingdom. You understand, my brother? So you say you have to leave. Yeah. All right, brother. The information is on the flyer. We have contact information as well. The website is there and everything. So you can read the flyer and go through the scriptures. Any questions, you can call the numbers. All right, my when, brother? When you not come, Natabe? When? When you not come, Natabe? And Natabe? Oh, we're supposed to be going where? Um, yeah, yeah. We're going to Port Maria. We're going to Port Maria um, sometime this month. Oh, you follow us on... You follow us on... Um, we keep... Yeah, you know, we keep... It. Right, there's also a radio show that we have on Sundays between 5 to 6. You can tune in either online or on the radio. Alright? So, my brother, so what? Good. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.